Hi guys, today we're going to make a Rainbow Loom personalized name bracelet, just like this. And uh, you can put your name in there, you can put mom, you can put dad. And uh, right here, you want to start with two colors or three colors. I'm going to use two colors on this band. I'm going to use green and pink. So you need these little square name beads. I got these at Michael's Crafts. That's where I get all my Rainbow Loom products, but you can look online, try to find them online, or probably get them at any craft store. Okay, so let's get started. First, map out how you are going to put your name on your bracelet. So it is centered. So you are going to start here and end here. And so you want to centralize it. And I just kind of go in with my thumb, count in, and now I'm right there on my middle one. So I am now going to put my little M right there if it's just kind of center it out because you want to put these right next to a peg. Okay, how I remember this from here is I'll just put a Reminder rubber band here. And a reminder band right here. So this is where you're going to start putting your... Now what we're going to do is take our arrow and point it up to keep up. What you can do is pause as you go along with your space bar and then to unpause you press your space bar again most computers work that way so we're going to start right here with our green band we're going to go up and out to the left now we're going to go from the center and out to the right we're going to go left and in and now right and in Now we're going to start from where we finished off with our other color, up and out to the left, up and out to the right, your left side in, from your right side in. Go down again, start in the middle peg. Going up and out to the left. Push your bands down gently as you go. Don't overlap them. Once again, pink and out to the left. Okay, I have now reached my band. That's where I'm going to start putting my beads. It's going to be on this tutorial. Do your next color up and out to the left, to the right. Okay, now is where we are going to take our band and cross it over. And I like to try take the opposite band so we don't so we know which grab pan to grab. So I'm gonna take my M, my first letter right now. Just squeeze this, slide it through that big hole. Okay, you've got that. I'm going to turn it this way, pull it out like this, and put it over where you just finished off. Slide it down very ever so lightly. It's your first letter in your sequence. Okay, so we just finished with our green bands. Now we're going to go out. 
out to the right, left side, and your right side. Okay, so now I've got my next letter in the sequence. And I want to use my opposite color that I just used, so I used pink. I'm going to go through right here. Slide over in the middle like that. So you're starting to see your letters come together here. Just finished with our pink bands on the bottom. Crane over and down. You can also use black for these colors to kind of keep it different color in the middle. So, okay. there you go. Now we're going to do pink. We're going to slide a green band, the opposite color band, through and attach it where you're just finished. There we go. That's what it's looking like. Just finished with the green bands. I mean, just finished with the pink bands, that is. Now we're going to do green bands. Opposite color to loop our letters. Down. Now we're going to go back to finishing off our regular colors and make sure when you do these are done that they're stacked in the right order. So like you had greens on the bottom and then you just you don't want to overlap your bands. Keep doing this all the way to the end. Last one. Okay, now here I'm going to lay my cap band down with the opposite color. I twist it into an infinity sign. Bring it over so it's wrapped over twice. And put that on the very tippy top. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and turn it all the way around where the arrow is pointed down towards you and we're going to start the hooking process down here where we just finished our cap. This is fairly easy but it can get tricky in spots so just uh, watch closely and uh, pause as you go. So we're going to go under our first two bands which are the cap bands. Grab this one that goes out to the left. Make sure you grab that one, the second one down, and bring it over. See how it pulls out nicely like that? That means the bottom and the top are attached. Now you're going to go under those two bands. Grab this pink one over here and bring it out to the right. Okay. 
back to the left side. Under the two bands, grab the bottom band, bring it to the middle. Same over here. Go under, grab that bottom band, bring it to the middle. Now we're going to go under and grab the top green band, pull it out, bring it to the left. We're going to go under, grab this band right here that goes out to the right. If you grab the wrong bands, it'll fall apart. Go under here. Again, grab the band that goes into the middle, pull it out. Under here, grab the band that goes into the middle. There you go. Same over here. We're going to go under the green bands. Grab this pink band right here. Goes out to the left. Bring it out to the left. Go under, grab this, bring it out to the right. Bring it to the center, go under to the bottom, bring it to the center. Okay, now it's going to get a little tricky. Watch really closely on this one. We're going to take the bands in the middle and push them down so you get the right bands. See right here? You are now going to go under. And you want to grab this band right here, the one that attaches to your bead. So set it up where it's under kind of this group of these bands together. Go under, grab that band that goes to the middle, and bring it over like this. This is going to help secure your beads in the middle. Now we're going to go under, grab the green one that goes out to the left, go under, grab this green one that goes out to the right. Same thing here. Go under, grab the green on the bottom that goes to the center, Go under, grab this one that goes to the center. Okay. Now we want to go in and grab this green band that goes, that is attached to your bead. So go under all these bands, grab that one green band that goes to your bead. It's attached to your bead. Bring it over to the center. Now we're going to go under. Grab this pink band that goes out to the left. Pull it over to the left. Same over here. We want to go under everything. All of those bands. And grab that pink one that goes out to the left. Okay. You're almost done with your tricky part. Okay, we just finished up the middle. Now we're going to go out and grab the bottom pink band, the one that's attached to the middle. Bring it over. We'll grab this one. Bring it to the middle. Okay. Pushing it down. Push all of this down. So we grab the right bands. We want to go under and grab this pink band right here that's attached to your letter. So we're going to go under, you can pull those up too to help you determine that band. So see how we're going to go under right now? That one pink one. bring it over to the left. Now we're going to go under, grab this one that goes out to the left. I'm going to go under, grab the bottom one, goes out to the right. Okay. 
I'm going to go over here to the left, grab that bottom band, goes to the middle, go over here, grab that band that goes to the middle. Okay, now we push this down again, make sure we grab our right band. We want to make sure we grab this green band right here. Separate it from the rest. Go under. Bring it over in the middle. We're going to go under all the bands. Grab the one pink one that goes out to the left. Bring it out to the left. Same over here. That one right there. Grab that band that goes to the middle. Push these down. And grab this pink one right here. I always kind of place it so where I know where I'm going to be able to grab it. Go under, pull all those other bands up, go under those bands, grab that pink band, pull it over in the middle, and we're going to go under, grab the band that goes out to the left, bring it out to the left, go grab the bottom band and bring it out to the right. Okay, now we're going to finish off as we have before. I'm going to grab this one, bring it to the middle. Bring this to the middle. Now we have no more center, so we're just going to finish it off as we were doing before. We are going to go under, grab this one that goes up to the left. So go under all of those bands, grab that second to bottom pink one, bring it out to the left. I'm going to go under and grab the bottom pink one and bring it out to the right. Grab the band here, bring it in. Bottom band here, bring that in. Same goes here. Come grab this band. You know you have your right band. Go under, bring it out. Under, grab this pink band to the left. Go under, grab the bottom pink band, take it out to the right. Bring it in. All right, we're on our last one. Under all these bands, grab this one right here, bring it out, one band out there, okay there we go, now all we have to do is attach our C clip and you have your awesome name bracelet. Now that you're at the top, you want to get all of these, pull them out, but don't take them off. Right there. Got four bands right there. Oops. Use my finger on this. Here we go. I attach my C clip here. Pull it out. Now I'll put my hook through here. Make sure again that my C clip is on all of those four bands. And now we're going to pull off gently. Okay, now we got to fix it so it works the way we need it to. I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, now to finish off our 
bracelet, what you want to do is pull each of these so they go in the middle, kind of maneuver them. See how that starts kind of setting them in there? So there you go. And now I'm going to attach to these other end right here my C-clip on the other side. Can pull it off of here now since all ah that one got loose. Make sure all four are in there. So important. So it doesn't fall apart. Okay. There's that. Now we attach the other greens on the other side. There, and that's tight. So when you wear it on your wrist, it's gonna look like this. So once again, we love you to subscribe. Click on the top left box on our screen. Give us a thumbs up and a like, and uh, comment below. Tell us some things you'd like us to make. We have our new website, theparentingchannel.net. All one word, theparentingchannel.net. And we're putting a link to it in our description below. And you can go to our website and see all of our bracelets. Thank you so much for watching.